greatest of all time is here. Yet yeah, that self-proclaimed greatest of all time. Oh, baby, we are in store for a special concert at the Showcase of the Immortals. The Honky Talk Man will stoop to any level to win, and you best believe he will play even dirtier at WrestleMania. My sources tell me that after tonight's victory, we're going to be treated to a VIP concert. Honky Talk Man, just the classics. Lucky us. Here he comes, the ultimate warrior. Well, here's the man to be the first person to be crowned a double champion at WrestleMania. Yeah, who could forget that moment at WrestleMania 6 inside the Toronto Sky Dome. It was the ultimate challenge where the ultimate warrior defeated Hulk Hogan to claim both the Intercontinental and World Championship. I remember it like it was yesterday. The whole world felt the power of the warrior. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 247 pounds, the Honky Tonk Man. And his opponent from parts Weighing in at 275 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Ultimate Warrior! Looking at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. The enigmatic and intense Ultimate Warrior clearly ready for action here tonight. As wild as he is powerful, you never quite know what Warrior is going to do next. But I think we all know it will make quite the impact. Never a dull moment with Warrior, that's for sure. Look at the Honky Tonk Man shaking and baking in the corner. This is how an all-time great carries themselves. Always ready to rock and roll. More like always ready to land a cheap shot when no one's looking. He's an all-time great at betting the rules. That's for sure. Ouch! Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Goes head over heels. The Ultimate Warriors run right into trouble. You can't expect any sympathy from Honky Tonk here. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, and that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Double axe handle right across the chest. And the little Warriors around the arena feel the Warriors' pain after that. Brought back into the ring from the floor now.
And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Uh, oh, twist to the arm. This clutch into the elbow. If I could use only one word to describe Ultimate Warrior, it would have to be intense. But you have to admit, Corey, sometimes that can be a detriment, right? Oh, yeah, Cole. Which is why I think it might be in his best interest to slow down a bit, to think before he acts. Here we go. Elbow drop. Ooh. Hoist it up. All the way out. Suplex. Covered by the champ. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Not even a near fall there. Power slam. Producing consecutive attacks. This is frightening strength here. Absolute dominance. Going for a pin for the championship. Only a one count before the kick out. Close call, but not enough yet. Down with force. When is enough enough? We get the point already. Oh my, discus punch. Such unbelievable intensity from the Warrior. And that's Warrior showing his smarts here. Slowing things down a bit. It doesn't happen often. When it does, it's obviously effective. them up. Marching across the ring and into the corner. And again. The challenger might be rethinking this title match after that huge attack from the champ. From the old. Now a pin for the championship. Ultimate Warrior defends the title. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Ultimate Warrior! He wasn't giving up that title, no way. What a title defense by the champion. Now he left it all in the ring tonight with the type of performance that's defined his title ring.